started Argos back in 2014. I was really starting out doing private label fragrances, making fragrances for other people. And then I decided last year to launch my very own brand publicly. So it started out with launching the Poor Home and the Poor Fam last year, and now this year I'm going to launch three new ones. Tell me a little bit about the three new ones. I've got three new fragrances for y'all. It's kind of my first step into real luxury niche nuance fragrances. I'm going to show you the first one here. It's called Basio Immortal, which means kiss of immortality. And this one is going to be an oud, a raspberry oud with a burnt tobacco rose. The next one is called Bravita de la Costa, which means the thrill of the chase or the thrill of the hunt. And this is my leather, very earthy, beautiful scent. And the next one was kind of a labor of love. It's called uh, Triumph of Bacchus. And this one is a very exotic scent. This one probably took me about two years to make. About a year and a half ago, I really had it completed. But I thought I could work on it a little bit more, but the farther I went, the less I liked it. But now, it's beautiful, and I hope you like it as well. Uh, well, I opened the scent room about a month ago and um, decided to bring niche perfume to Dallas. I mean, we have nothing like this here. It was time that Dallas uh, experienced the world of niche perfume. You know, it's kind of this big thing that's happening in the world. Um, I think marketing in general is uh, going towards one of a kind, you know, people wanting to feel special and unique, and scent is a part of that. Right. So, um, you know, we have niche scents around the world, and, and why not bring them to Dallas? Right. So what is your favorite scent? Oh, God. You have to have one. So many. Um, okay, so some of my favorite lines, Simone Andreoli, okay. and he uh, he's a, a wonderful man out of Tuscany. Yeah, uh, about Christian. What about Christian? Let's talk about Christian. I mean, he's here. He's doing awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, actually, Christian approached me a few days ago, and he came in and we spoke, and I said, you know, bring me your sense. I want to I want to see what you have, and um, I was blown away. He is super talented. He's a nose, you know, so he's the one. What is a nose? Like, I heard that earlier. What is nose? A nose. A nose is someone who actually is the creator, who comes up with the, uh, the idea and follows through. I mean, it is their baby. This is their creation. They are the perfumer. Um, it's, it's really their baby. So right, and, that, and that's him. That explains him. Put your name on it as, I created this. This is all me. So he's the nose for Argos. And so he brought me his sense, and I said, okay, yeah, we're, we're absolutely going to carry you, and I would like to feature you at my media party. Uh, you know, tonight, and so he set up a table, and people are loving him, and I'm so excited. He's got With your own words. Why should people should wear these brands? What? Well, my brand specifically, <laughs> just because of the quality, okay, and the uniqueness. But fragrance in general, I mean, fragrance has been around for thousands of years. I mean, even the ancient Egyptians, and I can go on and on. But you really need to have that little edge, you know, that the law of attraction. And, you know, we remember 35% of what we smell versus 5% of what we see. And there's just an animalistic quality to having a fragrance, and especially that signature fragrance, that one that gives you that boost of confidence and that, and that one that really catches the eye, so to speak, of that other person.